Hey, Ingus, how have you been? Oh, ahoy there, Trails. You ever find your mother? No, but I have a lead up north. Supposedly, there's a place called Lunar Isle, and I guess this fabric I found might have been made there. But no one will take me on the voyage until I get these requirements. So now I'm back down here, off on a crazy tangent to upgrade my house. I spent an entire week catching Crimson Swifts all the way to 50 Hunter. And since then, I've been training night and day at Ammonite Crabs in between my farming and birdhouse runs for the past three weeks. And now my life just feels like it's spiraling out of control. I see. No wonder you look so down. You must be overwhelmed. Yeah. I just wish my life could go back to how it used to be, before my mother's disappearance, before the war in the north, before my whole life became so chaotic. It would be nice. I sometimes wish things could go back to how they were too. So why don't you just give up? Go back home, live on an island or something, never worry about your problems again. I can't. You know that. Why not? Because I know she wouldn't just leave without telling me. Something happened. I know she's out there, waiting for me. And all the weird stuff that's been happening recently, like being abducted and experimented on in a secret underground lab, the strange dreams and visions, the priestess, I can't shake the feeling that all of these things are connected somehow. <laughs> so what are you waiting for, friend? Of course there will be many challenges ahead, but if you sit there wallowing in your own self-pity, then you're only slowing yourself down. <sighs> you know what? You're right. There are no alternatives. I must keep pressing forward, no matter what. <laughs> Excellent. Listen, man, I gotta get back to finishing this clue, but I'm sure this won't be the last time we run into each other. Safe travels, and Godspeed. Wait, Trails. Thank you. I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you find what you're looking for, too. Being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 14, A Spark of Energy I did it. I achieved base 70 combat stats after several weeks of training at Ammonite Crabs. Throughout that time, my hunter level climbed steadily to 60, which I needed for Echolectic Implings. But I knew Horned Grox would require an insane amount of walking. And sometimes it's better to do the necessary preparations to make your next grind more comfortable, ensuring that you are able to get through it completely. Which brings us to the last goal on our list, unlocking the ability to make energy potions. Energy potions are made from two ingredients, Haralander and Chocolate Dust. While the Chocolate Dust can simply be bought from Wyden's food store in Port Serum, Haralander is generally not in high demand, and because of this most shops do not stock it. This means that if I want my own energy potions, I'll need to grow Harlander and make them myself. Fortunately for me, I found a few Harlander seeds mixed in with the hop seeds I borrowed from the master farmer for my birdhouses, but I couldn't use them straight away, not until I'd achieved level 26 farming. So in between birdhouse runs, I would often sail through the relaxing town of Catherby, learning how to live sustainably and getting my hands dirty in the process. You wouldn't expect a pirate to enjoy farming, and to be honest, it was very slow, hard work. But it added something to my character that I think every man or woman can benefit from. A stronger connection with nature, and lots and lots of patience. Oh, a banana tree seed. Pretty far off of that. But it's good to know that we can get these seeds from here. Oh, it's kind of painful dropping all of these, but we have no use for them right now. Anyways, not for a long time. This cadaver berry bush is so convenient because every time I run through here, it always has more berries. So it's just a nice passive farming XP. Yeah, this is, this is gonna be my life for a little while because somehow I need to have all these seeds for the birdhouses while I'm farming and 
big site necklaces. So yeah. Mmm. Farming some onions. 24 farming. I don't think these are actually that useful, so I think I'm just gonna drop them. So, I've been training here at Ammonite Crabs, and for some reason, I always seem to forget that there's a raking patch here. I am so smart. I just realized that instead of doing like three or four loads of compost because I don't have enough space, why don't I just drop all of my stuff so I have 15 spaces, and then I can just do it all at once. And I can do the same thing with pineapples too. Wow, I am a genius. Okay, now that we have achieved 26 farming, it's time to start thinking about herb lore. Because I still need 26 in order to make energy potions. You know, all I can really think about right now is the day when I have more than one inventory space open. Man, I am, I'm getting so tired of dropping stuff and picking it back up and dropping it again. Ugh. You know, I have no idea why I keep doing this to myself because this herbalore training is actually pretty sh**. There it is, 20 herbalore. We can now clean Harlander. That's a step in the right direction. You know, when I set out on this journey, I really never thought that I would be farming, especially with three inventory spaces. It's, uh, it's amazing where life takes you. Are you seeing this right now? This is so crazy. So for anyone that's never done this before, you have to do it on the ones with a green mask, not the blue guys or the yellow guys. The yellow guys look pretty similar too. So just remember that. And as you can see, it can take a while to find a world that actually has them available. But once you do find them, it is insane Herblor XP. Wait a sec, this is the yellow guy. Yeah, see, the yellow guys look kind of similar to the green, but just remember, it's the color of the mask. I'm taking a little bit of damage here, but luckily we have the shrimp and parrot to help us heal up. Oh, that's a green one, sweet. There's another one, yes. Please subscribe. Yes, dude. Yes. This only took about 40 minutes to go from 20 to 26 herb lore. This method is unbelievable. Now that I had energy potions out of the way, I pretty much had everything I needed to hunt horned grocs to finish off 60 hunter. However, I also had some seeds left over from the bird's nest and the master farmer that I just wanted to use up because maybe those farming levels would come in handy in the future. Hey, my apple tree is done. How much? Whoa, that is a big XP drop. <laughs> I have a feeling these farming levels are gonna start coming in way faster with these trees. Got two more trees to plant. This one is gonna be another apple tree. All it takes is a little patience. That's it. You know you're an ultimate Iron Man when you have one space to pick your Harlanders. This is the life right here. Seventy-one strength. I have a little bit of downtime, so I'm just uh, coming back here to get some extra levels. It's pretty relaxing. Well, well, well. 
Looks like I am building a nice, healthy stack of fossils in here. I can't tell you what these are for right now, but just know that these are gonna be extremely useful in the future. Oh, we can't use that. Wait, wait a second. I think we have the level now. We're one level away. Okay, um, I will keep that then. There's our beautiful baby banana tree all snug in the soil. Man, I can see why people enjoy farming. It feels so incredibly satisfying to nurture something and watch it grow. Wow, we're already 75 strength. I've been trying to take it easy because once I clear some more inventory spaces, I'm going straight to Horned Grox to bust out 60 Hunter. Ah, oh, we're not gonna hit the level because we already checked this banana tree. We're just picking the bananas. Guess we'll have to wait. And I don't know how this worked out, but the payment for apple trees is actually sweet corn. So I don't think I've lost an apple tree so far. All right, if we complete this clue, then that will free up one more inventory space for Horned Grox. Ooh, there's the casket. I know, I know, I have not gotten to Grox yet, but I figure may as well use these dig site pendants up instead of just wasting them. Somehow, I just got a wood cutting level from chopping maple logs for our birdhouses. Oh, that's not a level, is it? We gotta be close though, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna plant this here and I think I'm gonna come back when it's done. Okay, saplings are all used up. We got enough seeds for one more birdhouse run, but after that, we are going to Grox. So I'm going to make my first energy potions cause that'll help anyways. So we need a pestle and mortar and some sort of banker to unnote things. So I'm thinking Shiloh Village will be our best bet for making these. Okay, nothing too different from how we normally do herb lore. It's just a lot of dropping, a lot of unnoting, a lot of picking things up and a lot of using them. Yeah, I know I can be very specific with my explanations. You know, let's just, let's just go test this out right now. It's been like a couple weeks since I first tried it. So I'm hoping that all of this stuff will help out a lot. And these energy potions should last quite a while. Okay, okay, I urge you not to look at my inventory, but if you do, you'll notice that there are no more energy potions. <laughs> yeah, I burned through those suckers in about a minute after I started running here. It's okay if we end up not using them for the horned crocs because I have a strong feeling that they will come in handy for something else. Oh, honestly, this is gonna suck because we have to keep dropping a Karambwan every time we want to dismantle the trap. Okay, I think it is about time to go check on those birdhouses. Oh, no way. A dragon fruit tree seed? People would pay so much if I could sell this. I know you're probably looking at those seeds <laughs> and this appling in my inventory. I'm sorry, it just, it keeps, it keeps going. It's like a train. It's too difficult for me to drop 1300 farming XP. So we're just, we're just doing, doing what we can to get by. We made it. We have made it to the end of the hunter grind. We can now catch eclectic implings barehanded, which is what we set out to do in the very first episode of season two. It took six episodes and weeks of progress to get to this point. 
But the grind is not over yet. I'm gonna need to collect and run over 3,000 planks for the construction level I need. Get ready. Thanks for watching, and please like the video if you enjoyed. And if you're interested, you could even click the subscribe button or hit the bell. That way you never miss a new video from me. Until next time.